Hello, uh, this take on VC, and welcome back to another very interesting and great video because it was only, I want to say, about, oh, I want to say it was about a month ago, maybe, it was talking about the Tim and T, the Samuel and Adventure comics. Because if you don't know, they are teasing a crossover of sorts with the other versions of Turtles, and it's somewhat being labelled as the Turtles for 2, but not really. And. Well, since then, there's been some pretty interesting details that come out since then, which, yeah, we got to talk about it. So, um, yeah, let's just get into this one, because we got quite a few things to talk about, and it's going to be amazing. Let's go! <laughs> okay, so first thing we should do want to talk about, first of all, is that this whole thing is not officially a Tales for a 2, and the reason for that is because... This story does actually have a proper name for this one, so this story, um, which was just revealed for its name, just uh, like a few hours after a part of the video, um, the video out, and basically they're saying that this um, th this whole story is going to be called the Og Olympics, um, and it's going to be a four issue story. And so far, we already know three parts. Now, the first part is taking place in issue twelve, and we do get to see the tools going to be fighting against Mr. Og and probably losing. Issue 13 is the one where we do get to see the turtles fighting other turtles. Issue 14, we don't really know too much about that one just yet, but we do get to see a big multiversal type thing happening because we do get to see the Shredder, Tiger Claw, the uh, Kavashagons, the Worm Things, whatever they are, they're on the cover. And that's pretty much all we know so far from it. And we do know um, that issue 15 is supposed to be the, uh, the wrap up for this uh, whole story arc, which Oh boy, it's going to be an interesting one because, yeah, I, I don't know what they're going to be doing and spinning into four parts is interesting, but I hope they would actually explore Tolverse a little bit more. But then it was only today that there was a, like, a image that's going around for issue 12, which is being released, and I don't know where this image comes from. Okay, so a little side note here, I just want to make um, clear because I wasn't too sure where the image was coming from, but I just found out. So this image is coming from IGN, from an uh, article that's uh, going over the upcoming issues, promoting stuff like that. And this was an image that I was given to them, and yeah! <laughs> so um, yeah, I just want to make that very clear before I release this video, because I got a feeling that I would have made a little bit made a final. So um, yeah, anyway, anyway, on with the video, shall we go? And just, oh boy, yeah, okay, so here's the image, and... Oh god, this is just amazing, and wow, I just can't believe I'm going to be getting this on issue 12, and it's only coming out in, oh, it's coming out very soon, I want to say, and I think, like, maybe next month? Yeah, no, I believe it is next month we're getting this issue, so to see that this is already coming out, oh my god, where do we even begin with this? So, um, yeah, let's just break this down a little bit, first of all, so, um, yeah, Mirage Leo... He's there. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to really say about that. He's just there. He looks cool enough. He looks... I don't know. I feel like with Sarah Myers, how they drew, like, drew Leonardo in this uh, issue here and going forward with Leonardo. It looks really interesting and to the point where he looks like he's like a mixture of like all different art styles, I want to say, with like Kevin Eastman and Pierre Laird. We're also getting like hints of like Jim Lawson as well with like some of the lines in them, but I think that might be just reading into a little bit too much because I've been reading the tales of Tim and T a little bit too much recently, so there's that, but Iwalia looks cool. Now Mikey, um yeah, I mean I've always found that with twenty twelve characters and I feel like this might go like for basically every free well, CGI character ever, is that it's always hard to draw them in 2D. And I feel like with the 2012 comics when they were coming out, they did a pretty decent job at it. And when looking at the covers for the upcoming issues, it did look like uh, 2012 Mikey was like like doing like drawing pretty well. And I don't even have to go as far to say as maybe with the colours that he was probably like drawn like this might be like the best like version we we got to see of Mikey in like comic book form compared to other versions where it's just you know you've got Mikey and the colours but like they're not really shaded well to the point where it looks like it's part of the CGI's uh, show or anything like that. And looking at it here, it looks like a little bit of a dang grey compared to the like cover, but either way this looks really great. I think the only thing that like, looks a little bit weird, I want to say, is the shell. It looks, I don't know, something about it just looks a little bit too big on Mikey. 
And then just like, also like, with the knees as well, they look a little bit weird there. Um, but either way, Mikey looks really great. Now, Donto, oh boy, wow, here we go. So, um, yeah, it's 2003 Dantolo. Oh my god, wow. And, yeah, wow, he looks beautiful. I, I mean, I... I don't want to criticise it because it's 2003 Dontello about the same time. <laughs> because because I like it too much and I've seen the show way too much. I sort of had to criticise at this point. <laughs> but yeah, Dontello there, he looks really great and amazing. And yeah, I have no real complaints whatsoever so far. Just because I want to see Dontello in action first before we start criticising him. I think the only thing that just looks a little bit weird like when looking at it here and compared to like the show and stuff like that. Like, one, the neck, I think it's just more like how they showed it with the, I don't know, it was weird how they did the neck with had the, like a neckline at the bottom, if that makes sense. On here, it doesn't look, looks like he has a normal neck, which, thank God for that. <laughs> and then also, the other thing which I did find a little bit weird when looking at Don Toto here was just his shell, but I think it might be more down to his angle that he's at, because Don he's at like a... Like a slant to his side, and it does make his show look like really big compared to how it is in the show, but I think that might be more down to how he is in his position. Now, Rise Ref, um, yeah, he's there. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I have no real complaints about Rise Ref. He's there, he looks like the show and stuff like that, and yeah, um, that's all I've got to say about it. He looks like the show. Um, the face looks. Yeah, I, I don't know, the, the face looks a little bit off, but I don't know if that's just lines in his head and stuff like that, but other than that, it looks on point. And then the big one, which I feel like people weren't really expecting, but at the same time, some were, were expecting a little bit as well. We are seeing Jenica. Oh my god, wow. Um, yeah, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting this, and Jenica's going to be in it. Wow, this is amazing. This is like a, like a whole new level for hype. Um, yeah, wow. So, Seremaya up to this point has not drawn uh, Jenica whatsoever. Uh, Seremaya has uh, acquired Jenica in the Street Fighter vs. Tim and T crossover last year. Um, but now they're finally drawing Jenica, and wow, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to really say about this because <laughs> it's just amazing that we're getting this with. The other turtles, it, this truly might be just the best crossover ever. Um, but yeah, just looking at Jenica here right now, it is giving me a little vibe from like Sophie Campbell in like a cartoony way. I, I, I don't know, if, I feel like I've seen like, this style of art style for Jenica before, but at the same time, not if that makes sense. It, it looks familiar, but at the same time, not. And I think that's what like, works so well. It looks like cartoony, but at the same time, not. Which, I think it works really well for Jenica because, up to this point, we haven't really seen too much of her outside the, of the IW continuity. Only the other time we've seen her was in the uh, Street Fighter crossover. So seeing her here like this now was just really great and amazing. It sort of just made me like wish there was like, the other toes, such as like Venus, Lita, um, and stuff like that. A little bit disappointed on that front, but at least we're getting Jenica and stuff like that, which is just amazing. Wow. So, yeah, wow, this is just all too amazing. I think the only other thing which I would like to say, uh, because I think this is something which we was questioning a lot when we were first seeing the covers for this issue, it was along the lines of, like, where the other toys like, from each universe going to appear, and I feel like this is a really good indicator that, like, no, they're not, which, yeah, to be honest, I'm not really that sad or <laughs> angry about, because at least we're getting 2003 Dontello in it, wow, that's amazing, and now we're getting Jenica, yeah, I feel like this crossover, no matter what, is just they're still going to be amazing. And we still yet to see what's actually going to be happening in the other few issues to come after this one. So, there's a lot to come out of this stuff. And I've got a feeling, no matter what, it's just going to be amazing. And I can't believe we're getting this right now. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this. Uh, do you like this? Do you not? Are you looking forward to it? Of course you are. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, that's going for today, guys. If you trust them, please share. Let's just grab all stuff. Goodbye, yo. Bye.